Good afternoon. Welcome to our York Home live tour of Reed Hall. My name is Courtney. I'm a junior here at the University of Arkansas. I'm actually from Fayetteville and I lived in Reed when I was a freshman <laughs> here. So this is by far my favorite tour to give. I'm super excited to show you guys around. Um, behind the camera is Channing. I'll let her introduce herself. Hey guys, my name is Channing. I'm from Springdale, Arkansas, and I'm a senior communication major here on campus, and I will be behind the camera today. So if you guys have any questions, please comment them throughout the video or even after the video, and we will be sure to get those answers for you guys. Yes. So before we go inside, I want to point out just some things that we're close to. So you've got the nursing building right here. And then the best part is the football stadium is literally right there. You have the best view of the mm -hmm. football stadium from this building. I miss it so much. Um, the maples are over here, and there's a restaurant just in the bottom corner of the maples that you can use um, your meal meal swipes for at night. And then there's also a little club red over there, which is just a nice little convenience store. And then right down the sidewalk is Fulbright Dining Hall, which is going to be your closest dining hall. Um, I basically <laughs> so, yeah, you have a really good view. Super great By view. By far my, my favorite part. Point out also that this is actually the parking lot where there'll be parking whenever yeah. move-in happens. Yeah, that, so that's where move, like the move-in, you get a little pass and you'll be right here. There's a parking lot on the other side as well. You can park there if you uh, have residents in the center. So for security, we use fobs, just super nice. Everybody that lives here will have their own fob to get in the building. Um, this is where you will pick up your packages. They'll send you an email whenever you have a package, so you know when to come get it. And then there's your mailboxes. You get an email with a little code, so you can come here and get your mail. And then right over here is vending. Got big machines as well as snacks over there. It's really great for whenever you're <laughs> up late studying and you need an energy drink or just a snack to get you And we support wireless payments too, so you can do Apple Pay for Yes, yeah, so you can use Apple Pay on those machines. So we're actually gonna go meet the CRE. Hello, <laughs> if you want to introduce yourself. Hello. Hi. My name is Maddie, I'm a CRE, and what a CRE is, is we supervise the resident assistants that work in the hall. They put on programming, they help answer any questions your residents want, um, and then also I'm just here to talk and I also oversee the behavioral concerns in the Hall of Reed. Um, but also, Reed is a great community. Uh, it's a heavily involved student population, so whenever they're coming back, they're coming home to relax, study, and community build within the hall. So we do a lot of quick passive programming, a lot of come and go programs. Um, a big one we do is Hell on the Hill. It's gonna be a really huge event this year in October. It is a huge haunted house hosted in Reed Hall on our first floor. So come out and enjoy that. So. Spooky. So, um, <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. That quote about your desk, did you did you put that up there? This actually like was here before. Uh -huh. um, nice. I decided to keep it because I think empowering everyone um, together um, and dealing with our imperfections is a big thing that we uh, deal with in Reed Hall as women and we like to empower each other through that. So it's awesome. Mm -hmm. I like that. Will you join us on the tour? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> We're gonna head this way. So this is an all female dorm and it holds four hundred and fifty nine students, which is a lot. That's really awesome. Um, over here is a little little mini kitchen area. Um, I know a lot of people come in here and make cookies. My RAs would always like have taco nights or something fun that they'd offer for us. So um, this is always open to you. And then you can actually use your student ID at the front desk and um, just rent out a little like cookie sheet or anything that you would want to use in the kitchen. So this is the sun room. Um, there's a TV up there. It's a good place for movie night, watch parties. You can study in here if you want to, and then you can put the blinds up. So this looks like we have quite a few people tuning in. Where's everybody from? Yeah. Hello. Me and Channing are both from Northwest Arkansas. So yeah. If you have any questions about the area, feel free to ask us. Yeah, this is one of the one of the cool 
spots in here that you can always use. And then this is one of my favorite parts. Brita has its own little workout space. So nice. Very nice to have. We did just get new medicine balls and fitness balls that were out of warranty last year. So brand new thing. Nice. Yeah, this was really nice to have. And then there's also actually a UAPD substation right here. So. Yeah, right there. Right through that door. And that was our alarm system that says, security <laughs> violation, please close the door. Yes. <laughs> you always have to close the door. <laughs> but yeah, this is really nice to have. There's always people down here to make some friends. Courtney, would you say it's well used? Definitely well used. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, before classes or after classes or what's the time of day? A lot of people come in the mornings before classes. I always have like early classes and I am not a morning person, so I'm not going to get up super early before my classes. But um, I like to come at night usually, but definitely always people. I never really had to like, it was never full. Like there was always an opportunity for me to come in here and work out, but it's definitely used mm -hmm. and really awesome. So that way you don't have to drive to a gym or go to the hyper. You can just super right convenient. Here. Yeah. We have Julie tuning in from St. Louis and Jennifer from Paragold. Okay. Awesome. Thanks for watching. So, I think we're going to look at laundry. Or no, we're going to go to the, the blue room, as it's called, right? Yeah. Is that the right name for it? Yes. This is a study spot. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, it's locked, so let me grab oh, the yeah. key and open it up for you. Oh, over here is recycling. Um, every residence hall has. Um, you do a lot of programming in here or is this more like where students just kind of hang? A lot of students hang here now and a lot of study groups form here which we have materials checked out at the desk for dry erase markers and erasers and almost every single event that we host in Rehal is going to be hosted here um, so you can just kind of walk by peek in and figure out what's going on. Cool. Very cool. I love this space. I like how bright it is. <laughs> okay laundry now. I like, they always have a cute, like, oh yeah, that's super cute, seasonal decoration there, and I love that already. Love it. Who decorates these? Uh, the No Woman Left Behind interns actually have this over the year, so they'll have a lot of nice quick tips and tricks and programming events that they have. Um, in the beginning of the year, you will see all of the staff have their pictures and some fun little facts that they will have. What is No Woman, no Woman Left Behind? No One Left Behind is a program that is based on empowering women and educating everyone on campus about sexual assault on campus and how to stay safe, some prevention techniques, as well as everything else that kind of falls underneath that umbrella. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to head this way. Oh, we're going to the laundry room. It bring so back fast. a lot of memories. It does. Yeah. Weird. I thought that had been here in so long. <laughs> housing.uart.edu forward slash laundry yeah. get you more information. Yes, and I would definitely say find a time where people are busy and you're not busy, and that's when you should do your laundry. What's the secret time? 
I'm like a night person uh -huh. for sure. Not all people are, but I'm definitely a night person just in general. So I'd always come down here when people are sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> or like if you're studying at night, come put in some laundry, mm -hmm. go study, and then take a break and check on your stuff. So that's you smart. Use pods mostly. I always use pods. It's just super easy to do and just throw them in there. It's the easiest thing for me. But yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, Judy wants to know if it's a coin laundry and you do not have to bring um, your own coins because it is included in your um, housing fees. Yes, so you don't have to, you don't have to use coins. Yeah. It's all covered under the age housing fees. Yeah. So. Super smooth process. Yeah. You're spending a lot of time in there. And there's a nice machine, which is nice to have. And there's also some sinks over here too. Yeah. Nice big sink. There's a television. Is it usually going at any time, or is it kind of usually on? You can off? use it, but a lot of people, like I noticed when I work, was here, would mm -hmm. use their laptops and like watch Netflix on their laptops. But gotcha. mm -hmm. definitely watch TV in there if you want to sit away on your laundry. Do we want to mention about trash? Is it is that how it's done here? Yes. Do you have have a sense of the process? Yes. So you bring out your trash down here uh, because we do not have trash chutes on the floors that are actively working with trash bins at the bottom. Um, so you will just bob yourself with your key uh, at this pad, walk outside, throw it away, um, and then it's also cardboard recycling right there for you too. Please don't leave this in this room. So mm -hmm. to prevent any bugs or other visitors. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Good advice. Okay, so we're about to go in my favorite room, downstairs in the room. <laughs> and, oh, there's a co-ed bathroom. That's the one co-ed bathroom in this building, just by the way. Oh, <laughs> for the gentlemen, huh? Yeah. The gentlemen callers, come on. Yeah. So this is the living room. Paul, Yeah, please. here's your father. Thank you. Very secure. Your yeah. I love mm -hmm. that. Including that police favorite. substation. Room. So cozy in oh, here. I'll leave this for the outside. Yes, very cozy. There's a lot of spots for watch parties. So this is this is also my lovely room. <laughs> so cozy. What did you watch uh, when you were here as a freshman? I remember school? sitting in here and watching Friends. I don't know why I have such a specific memory of that, <laughs> but I do. From the nineties, Friends. Oh, I love Friends. Everybody loves Friends. Never die. No, <laughs> it doesn't. Friends lives on. Let me tell you. <laughs> And then here's a bigger kitchen that you can come use um, whenever you just don't want to go to the dining hall or you want to cook for your friends. There's a big table that you could have dinner at if you want to. It's a really awesome to have. And um, they can check out cooking equipment from the front desk, is that yeah. right? All cooking equipment can be checked out at the front desk. We just replenished and added some, so nice. always ask. Awesome. Okay, and then we also have this patio, so whenever it's nice out, you can come study out here. This, this door will definitely start beeping at me again. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the security systems, though. Yes. I always felt super safe here, but this is nice. Whenever it's not cold in Fayetteville, yeah. you never know. You come have a little picnic out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I'm ready to go look at the stairs. Go to the ninth floor, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the top because the view from there is so awesome. I'll take those keys if you yeah. don't want to have to hold on to them. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. We love getting those questions, so feel free to chime in if you have anything you want us to look at. Wow. So we're going to show you what all the rooms are look like. I love going to the top of this building. <laughs> it's my favorite. I took a lot of good sunset pictures. Oh yeah. Of my room. Instagram worthy. Yes. I miss, I miss the view definitely a lot. And it's awesome because like I was on the stadium side so I could hear whenever we get touchdown or something whenever I didn't go to the football games, but definitely go to the football games. 
Definitely. Yeah. Can you hit A? I saw a request to go to room A. Oh, oh no. too late. So <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe we sign off and yeah. try to go down there. floor so like if yours is busy you can always check the different floor study room but um, I definitely use this as much as I could because like I said I love studying at night and it's nice to just have this right by your room you don't have to walk to the library um, there's so many because there's eight floors of rooms um, but yeah I, I was always in here whenever I could be it's really nice to have yes Tell us a little bit about floor programming, that's a thing, right? Yeah, so a lot of our floor programming, if there is anything really quick, like um, watching Bachelorette or the Bachelorette or the Bachelor <laughs> every week, I know that happens a lot here and we always try and encourage that, so we'll always put it on and have the RA sit with you. We have a lot of active programming or events that we have that are in the lounges, but also we like to have them in the blue room just so it's central. Um, sometimes people don't necessarily want to go upstairs if they're already walking past it. Um, but that's typically what we do, and we have them at least every once a month, so there's something always going around. Yeah. How exciting. It's mm -hmm. a really good way to meet new people. Yeah. Some of my best friends now are people that I didn't know at all before college, and I met and read, so. Awesome. Yeah. There's always stuff going on, like opportunities to meet new people in here, and that's one of my favorite things about Reed. This is a bathroom. There's going to be a bathroom on each wing, so one on the top and one on the other half. Um, here's the stalls. Big mirrors. Great place to get ready. <laughs> a lot of people get ready in here, like on game days and stuff. It's a good spot. And then, okay, here's the shower. Yeah. We'll take a look in the shower. Yeah. going to be a pretty typical room, right? Yes, this is what most rooms are going to look like. All rooms but the end rooms will be set up just like this. So yeah, you have all movable furniture except for this half of the room, the closet and the mirror. You each get a set of drawers and then the beds are loftable, of course, so you can raise these up and put storage under it or like your mini fridge or you have chairs, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. yeah. That view, though. Uh, yeah. That view, though. <laughs> that view, though. So good. So I'm good. I'm going to raise the window and get a little better view of that. Old Main is going to be over there. Oh, yeah. So there's Old Main. Okay. Thank you. Best view ever. Stadium is right there. Perfect. You see the gentle Ozarks. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine what this looks like in the fall. Like, um, it has to be gorgeous. It's amazing. <laughs> like, actually amazing. I miss it so much. <laughs> um, we have a couple measurement questions. Okay. So, what is the measurement of the circumference of the footboard? Circumference of circumference. the footboard. So, this is the footboard, right? I think so. We may have to ask for a little more clarification on that one. Yeah. Maybe right the width? The huh? width, maybe? Yeah, of trying to think what item we're talking about exactly. I'm sure this is what they mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's headboard, footboard. So from here to the ground, let's just go ahead and get that. And there's a little hang if you can use it. It's five feet from the top to the ground. Mm -hmm. And then. And when they loft these, what they do is they take that and I think they flip them upside down, yes. so you get more room on the other side. So you can either put it up, like I had mine just on the top like this, which was perfect for, like I brought my own little plastic drawers from Walmart and put them under there, I had a bean bag under mine, it was great for storage, um, and that was like a perfect height for me, but if you want it even higher, they just flip, flip mm -hmm. this, and so it would be up here. And so we can, we can uh, loft them for you up until the end of the month at housing.uart.edu forward slash fix it. Yes. Um, but also it looks like this is one of those that could potentially be lofted by 
uh, a person I think you may have used an impromptu tool. Is that what yeah, I heard? I, yeah. What I did used, you use? I used the rubber mallet and rubber mallet. and did this myself one time. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't that hard, so we accomplished it. We also have a question about the height from the top of the windowsill to the ceiling. Oh, okay. We have this really cool um, measuring device. Yeah, it's fancy. It is the best thing ever. And that's five feet two inches from windowsill to ceiling. Awesome. And then this is awesome because a lot of people put plants and stuff here. It's just nice to have. I had a giant cactus when I lived in Reed. <laughs> it was right here. Have you seen how some other residents have decorated? Oh yeah. Um, we actually collected a bunch of pictures last year of everyone's rooms that wanted to submit them to our Instagram, and we have a highlight called Room Inspo. So if you want to see some of the pictures that we had last year, and if you want, you can DM us, and we can try and get a hold of that resident to see exactly how they accomplish that. Oh, cool. I love Where that. Where do you find that? On uh, Reed's Instagram? Yep, U of A Reed Hall is our handle. So. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Scott wants to know, when the bed is lofted, how many inches are between the bed and the floor? So that's going to depend on where you want it lofted. Right, so there's different notches for, like, just choices, your options as far as lofting. So depending on where you loft it, um, mm -hmm. that's going to be different. But yeah, if you left it like this and didn't flip to where it was at, like, up even higher, it would be about here. Is about two feet. Yeah. If you put it on the lowest rung, which I don't even know if you can put it on the lowest rung because it would go down to the floor, so it'd be next to last. Can you have any measurement like from there? From there up? Uh, from there down. That's probably what. Uh, like the lowest amount you can lock. Yeah, it. the lowest amount oh. you can lock. It. I okay. think it's one of the questions. Maybe this. Is the measurement. Um, well, if it was at the lowest eight inches eight yeah. inches yeah so yeah you can do that you may get as low as possible um, sydney know? wants to know what the depth of the windowsill is one foot two inches one foot two inches. 14 inches yes yeah. Yeah. um Jennifer wants to know if she rents the mini fridge through the university, d will it fit under the bed when it is flipped? And yes. it should definitely fit. Yes, it will definitely fit. Also, there's an outlet in this little ledge. Just, really? Just in case you need it. Outlets are always good. Right there. Yeah. Uh, Lauren wants to know if we can measure the height um, of the shelves on the closet. Like yeah, so probably because both Let's of them. Let's do both. Yeah. So this one's nine inches. Yeah. This one's one foot eight inches. And then this is four feet, 11 inches. The big cubby. Yeah. Yes. And then actually, I can't do no measurements. The whole closet is 96 inches tall from top to bottom. So if you want to bring a curtain, um, you just bring your own little rod, 96 inches. <laughs> we recommend tension rods. Yes, tension rods. You wouldn't want to do anything. Definitely tension rods. I went to Walmart and got one. That's, that's what I use. Carrie wants to know if we can measure the size of the bed posts. Yeah. So. This is five feet from top to bottom, and then maybe, yeah. Is that easy? Let's do this, definitely. Can you see it? <laughs> it's about uh, 37 and three fourths. Olivia wants to know how do most people attach their headboards? Um, well, you know, <laughs> interesting question. Um, I had a headboard when I lived here, and I actually didn't attach it. I just kind of sat it in there. <laughs> like there's just enough room to push the mattress up and sit it right yeah. there. And it never fell. It was perfect. It worked for me. You can always um, 
like on the back of your headboard put one of the, those little hooks so that you could like make sure it doesn't mm -hmm. fall. I think my roommate did that, but I didn't hook mine on and it was fine. So. The question we get a lot too is about that um, board in the back, the, um, the push pin board, I guess. Yes. Um, so you can't remove it. But um, you can, you know, you can cover over it with decorative elements. Yes. So you can't take it out of the wall, but my headboard completely covered it. Or you could decorate it and put all these pictures there. Um, really, just whatever you want to do. But you just can't take it out of the wall. So everyone's got one of those. And then these bookshelves are always fun to decorate and make your own. Um, everybody always has a cute space right here. So. Yeah. Twinkle lights, yeah. yeah. Twinkle lights for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I had all, all the twinkle lights. <laughs> Julie um, has a question. If the bed is lofted at the second to the highest notch, she's wondering, um, I think she's asking about a bed skirt. Um, she wants to know what um, the measurement from the metal frame to the floor would be. Okay, so from the second, second to highest would be this one. This is the highest. Yeah. Um, and I'll give you a little... be about two feet seven inches okay um, I remember I know I had a, a bed skirt and I didn't know where I was gonna loft my bed yet so I just kind of made it work <laughs> <laughs> god did you gotta do yeah we'll figure it out you can decorate however you choose to do so Hannah wants to know she um, requested to have her bed lofted to the highest notch without being flipped she was wondering um, how high that would be. Without flipping, highest notch down. It's two feet ten inches. Two feet ten inches. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carrie was saying she wanted the actual post width when she was asking about the posts. So maybe like oh, okay. maybe yeah, you could use, you that. use that. Yeah. I'm so sure. I think it's two, two and a four. Yeah. Two and a four. <laughs> yeah. And that's going to be square, so mm -hmm. two and a fourth in this direction too. Yes. It's beveled slightly. Yeah. So two and a fourth. Um, and it was measuring. So if you did flip it over, how long it would be? And it's about eighty. Is it about eighty-five. Eighty-five inches. And that's on the top one. Um, Caroline wants to know if we can do the dimensions of the vanity space. Yes, of course. Um, just FYI, the lighting in here is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely amazing. I miss that as well. Okay, this is five feet three inches across. Two feet eleven inches. And then I'll be good. It's one foot eleven inches deep. Perfect. Yeah. Um, Hannah wants to know if she can get the dimensions of the shelf above the mirror up here. Um, okay, well it's gonna be the same depth. So it's yeah. gonna be one foot eleven inches deep and it's gonna be just as long too, which was Five feet, yeah, five feet three inches. Okay, five feet three long. There's a lip on here that goes down just slightly about about that far, which is what, yeah. um, about half an inch, three quarters of an inch as a lip. But then from there to there, we've got, uh, let me go inside here. So about 17, about 17 inches. 17. If we're, if we're looking at the lip, then it's about 15 and three quarters. I know people will bring their own little um, storage boxes for up there a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Or you can get a TV there because you do get a cable box and a remote. With HBO. Yeah. HBO. <laughs> we had a little mini TV up there and storage behind it. That's always a good, good space for mm -hmm. just extra stuff. Hannah wants to know the length and width inside the drawers. These drawers, I'm assuming? 
assuming, yeah, I'm assuming. Is that a little bit wider, that first one, than the second one? I'm mean, sorry, not wider, taller. Is it a slight bit taller? Uh, I don't know. Let's give it a go, just see. How thick the mattresses are. Um, can I use you with that one? Sure. Yeah. It is about six inches. <laughs> six about inches? Six. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And else? Go through you. I don't think. Loving all these questions. Go yeah. Questions Caroline asked how tall would a medium lofted bed be? Um, do you know what's considered medium? I guess she's saying like mid the middle here without flipping it, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking maybe there's a lot of questions about lofting specifically. Mm -hmm. So maybe we follow up in the comments with the different measurements for each individual rung that yes. you can hang it on. It sounds like that would be the best way to get those numbers. It's a little bit hard to get that measurement on the fly like that, so yeah. let's just do that. Okay. Um, I actually think there was an example of a lofted bed on the way down the hall, so we can show that. Okay, yeah. Caroline wants to know, do most people use shower curtains or regular curtains to cover the closets? Um, I use regular curtain. Okay. But whatever you want. Sydney wants to know if we could get the dimensions from the top of the desk to the bottom of the shelf that sits on top of it. Oh, like... Yeah. One foot six inches. Awesome. Julie wants to know if the extra long mattress is 80 inches, how long is the regular mattress? 75. 75 inches. Yes. And Olivia wants to know where the outlets are in the room. So there's an outlet by each desk, which is awesome for charging your computer and phone and such while you're studying. And then, um, like we pointed out earlier, there's one kind of in the corner over there on the ledge by the window, which uh, people will bring like microwaves and plug them in right there. Yeah. And then there's one right here for while you're doing your makeup there. I think that's most of it. I think that's all. Yeah. And then there's a bunch of the bathrooms too, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and look at there was a question about the refrigerator and fitting it underneath the bed um, we'll confirm that um, when we start going through and answering all these questions I feel like there's room but there may not be so let's we'll go back and we'll make sure we get the correct answer to that um, I did not flip mine and there wasn't any fridge under there but we did bring it so I'm not 100% yeah. on measurements of that one. Sure, the rented ones, for example. Yeah. Megan wants to know if we can show an end room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll go look at the end room. Yeah. Yeah, because they do look a little different. Are there any more questions? Of Not in me? here. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Yeah. All caught up. Okay, we'll go to an end room. So all of these rooms are going to be exactly the same. And then the only one that looks a little bit... Oh, wait. Pause. I want to oh, show yeah. this bed. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a lofted bed. This is a lofted bed, and this is an example of it flipped, flipped. So we yeah. flipped it so that they had higher options. But. And um, that is at which rung? Do you happen to know? It's not all the way up, so yeah. it's four down from the top. Four down from the top, so this is what considerable four down height. Like. 
yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that so you know what your options are. But yes, now we will go to an in room. <laughs> this is room 923. So if you're living in here, let me know. But yeah, so in the in rooms, you each can have your own little mini vanity. Um, that it might be a little uncomfortable, but nothing intolerable. Arkansas weather is just weird. <laughs> um, Lauren wants to know if um, they can remove the bulletin boards as long as they stay in the room. No, so I think since they're drilled into the wall, that's why we don't want anyone to take them out because um, that, they make it easy to damage while putting them back in, and then you'd get fined, and so better just to just cover it up. Just leave it <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably kind of hard to get out. So, yeah, just cover it or decorate it. Everybody has one. And as far as hanging things up on the wall, um, blue tape, did you use a lot of painter's tape? What did I you use mostly? Command, command strips? Hooks. Yeah. Yeah, command hooks. Yes, that was my, my best friend <laughs> for my We have another measurement question um, about the end of the window bed to the edge of the closet area. And I don't know if she's talking about the other room. Let's go back to the other room. Yeah, I think it's probably a more that's... standard room. Mm -hmm. We'll go back and measure that. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this being so environmentally aware, which we're not going to Go green. Go green. You are green. So the end of the window bed to the edge of the closet. Yes. You got it? This would be best for this. Actually, I might be able to only use one of these. Just to be more precise. Sure. Make sure. So I think I can, yeah, perfect. It's two feet six inches. Awesome. Right here. <laughs> Also, she wants to know how deep um, that little cubby is back there. So from the edge of yeah. where it starts to where the outlet is on the wall, it's exactly two feet. Okay. Yeah. Two feet. Um, Caroline wants to know, do most people leave the desks between the beds? Um, most people do, but you don't have to because my roommate actually it wasn't like this in our room. I can't remember. I think she like made an L kind of and had her desk by the door. Yeah, you can, whatever fits. Mm -hmm. But, but I, this was super common. So just, you can play with it a little bit and see whatever you prefer. Yeah. And the shelves move off the desk too. So like you can probably neatly walk and put the desk underneath or the shelf somewhere else, however you like it. Yeah. You have a lot of options. I saw a lot of different things in here. People are creative. <laughs> Do people leave their doors open a lot this fall? Yes. Really? Um, I really don't think I ever locked my door, which is awesome because I just met so many people. Um, all the doors are always open. It's like a giant sleepover all the time. 
It was so fun. I miss it so much. <laughs> it goes by super fast, so soak it in and leave your door open and make friends <laughs> while you're here. It's so fun. Caroline yeah. um, wants to know if the windows already have rods. They, they do not. They so do not. They come with the blinds, but if you want to bring a tension rod for curtains, you want to do that. That's yeah. a giant tension rod. Giant tension rod. Yes. Um, it says like the length of that is nine foot six inches. Okay. All the way. Awesome. So that'd be a long tension rod, but you can probably find one. <laughs> <laughs> People have they curtains. probably live out there. So yeah, I never had curtains though. I know it's blinds were good. Yeah, so like uh, when you're trying to sleep during the day, yes. were they dark enough or do you need yes. like full black? so out? my bed was actually on the window side and I definitely took a lot of naps um, during the day. So it was fine, yeah. The, the blinds were good. We had a question to measure the bulletin board um, dimensions. We can do that. Yeah. Can we pull that out for you a little bit? Um, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. Julie wants to know if all the rooms have new blinds. I think no, all the rooms did. Yeah. I know mine did, and that was a couple years ago. They're awesome. I mean, they're on the newer side. Yeah. They're not necessarily new this year. And if there's ever an issue with the blinds, uh, we have fix it. You want to talk about fix it? Yes, so you can always go online. Um, it's housing.uark.edu. Slash fix it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Always have to remind myself. <laughs> if you ever have a light that goes out or something's wrong with your blinds or really just anything, go on there, um, submit it, and they'll come fix it for you. Mm -hmm. so. I might mention ResNet too, since we're talking about our services there. Yeah, there's just a lot. Really, if you need anything, I'll go online. Also, measurements are online too. And then, I don't know, you want to talk about ResNet? Yeah, ResNet. Um, is helping you with your Wi-Fi connectivity or if you are bringing in a Bluetooth uh, speaker or something that needs to connect to the Wi-Fi, they can help manage um, your devices under your account so they can help you find the MAC code or whatever that is and register that to your account so it can work on Wi-Fi. A lot of things like this could be like your Xbox if you are bringing one, a PlayStation, um, a Bluetooth Blu-ray player, um, a Fire TV stick. Um, so they do a lot of that, as well as uh, you, if you're ever having problems with your cable, or if you're if you need help connecting to the cable with Cox um, Cox Cable, you can also submit a request with them in there. And I believe we will also have a table at Move In for ResNet here in Reed for that. Um, we usually have one every year. So yeah, I, ne I actually never had to use it. I never had problems with um, my Wi-Fi or anything. So it's lucky. But <laughs> if you do, we always have that option. Any other questions? We are not getting any more questions right now, so. so well, <laughs> if you guys have any more questions, um, feel free to comment and we'll go through and look at them afterwards. But I'm so glad I could show you guys around. This is always my favorite. Like I said, I get excited to get to come back in here, relive my glory days. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to tell the upcoming students? We're really excited to see you. All the RAs are really happy um, and excited to see all of their residents. So don't hesitate to kind of come by and say hi. Um, we'll see you at move in. Um, I think most of y'all are moving in those first two days. So we're just really excited. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Enjoy it. It goes by really fast. Thanks <laughs> for watching.